subscribe or this will happen to you. <laughs> yeah, you're not subscribed yet? Come on! Hey! <laughs> so event day today! First up, we have Log and we are going for a world record in something. Cheers. Is there a reason you slam the log before you start? That kind of gets my aggression up a bit where I'm starting in log. So it sounds, sounds a bit strange you're kind of showing the log who means boss or who is the boss. So by me doing that, it feels effortless. I'm throwing it down, I'm getting, I know, I'm just getting that aggression into me. And I know it feels like nothing, you know, that's an empty log. Can I treat it with no respect almost? And then that kind of sets the tone for the rest of the session. Um, if I go in all nicey nice and I'll give it a little stroke, give it a little kiss, then the log isn't going to respect me. Bitch. Yes, the log is my lady dog. <laughs> How heavy are we going today, Tom? 180 for reps. Fingers crossed it's going to be a rep PB. 180 for five. Which translates into a 228.266.429 log. So guys, that's a uh, warm up's done now. We're on to the 180 for five reps. So can I do it? Let's do this. Clean and press every rep. I wasn't so confident coming in. I think my best at 180 is free, so hit five and I maybe had one or two more in the tank, but felt very good, so I'm very happy. Look at me, happy boy. Aggression loop. Come on. Harder than it should have been, to be honest. Double dipped again. And that's something that Dan has been talking about, just to really be sure for me that I'm ready to go. So when I think I'm ready, just take a split second 
and then go. So that's what I should have done there. I think at the moment, yeah, I probably, I'm not far off 220 odd, so that's a good place to be. Tom smashed out 180 for five, that was awesome. So you got a PB. The 200 felt like nothing, which was good. So we've got a, a big rep on 200 in uh, two or three weeks, so that'll be a, a big, big session. That'll probably be, well, we'll see what Dan's got programmed for next week. That'll be interesting, uh, 200 for reps. Um, yeah, quite happy. So now we're going on to some front hold, which will be horrible. Ready? Two, one, go. stop at a minute but the new mental focus of Tom Stoltman has took over and I didn't stop at a minute I stopped over a minute So that's our set stand of front hold. You can see we've got a, a different contraption. I believe it's going to be a pickaxe. So we're trying to mimic that. So this is about eight kilos EZ bar. The plate, we've got 10 kilos. Um, so it's still top heavy, but it's just to kind of build in that. I don't know if you saw when I started, there was a bit of a swinging motion on the, the EZ bar. So it's to try and accommodate for that. Obviously we want to try and train as near to the implements as we can, so that's why we're doing this a little bit different, so it felt quite good, both getting over a minute, which is decent, and I think, you know, we've been really hitting this hard, whereas in, in years gone by, to be honest, we do a couple of, couple of training sessions with front hold and that'll be that, but it really does pay because we can see that progression every week when we're doing it, so being consistent is helping us progress in this event. So hopefully come Worlds, we're gonna be ready. What's the next event, Tom? Boys, I don't even know, I need to look at my phone. Is that a York and Frame, I think. We are now in the warehouse. We are, next up is this big mammoth behind me, York, 400 kg. We're gonna be doing 20 meters there, 20 meters back, then done. So we're gonna do two sets on one, and then, yeah, let's see how spicy we can get the yolk today. That's our warm-ups, or my warm-ups, done with the Richard Looney yoke. Um, now loaded up to 400 kilos, so I've got 20 meters, two runs, um, and then Tom's going to go and do his his sets. So hopefully this will go well. It's been good training with the the big beast of the yoke. Um, it's feeling really nice, so we'll look to carry on that way. Um, we're doing it outside today. Um, just because we've got the fingers set up, so it gives us a 20 metre run there and back again. Um, the only problem is it's got a slight gradient going down the way, so we've, we tried it last week, you just got to watch that when you drop it, it doesn't kind of carry on topple over, so it's something to watch out for.
So obviously myself and Luke are different heights, so instead of going up and down, we just let Luke do his full sets and I do mine. So doing exactly the same as Luke, warm up with pickups, all the way up to 400. One round, done, run back, then done. Yoke done. Looked alright for you. Smashed it. Yeah, it's feeling good. Um, that was alright. Uphill, oh, jeez. It's like you're walking up fire as you have a yoke in your back. That is a, it's just, I can't speak, bro. Is it? That was all. Yeah. It's the opposite for me. Downhill, I find that my momentum gets too much. You're really fast, so. Um, yeah, we both looking good, yeah, so good. that's the main thing. You know, that yoke's massive as well. Yeah, it's a big old I mean, yoke. I mean, every comp we've done, we've been able to grab the outer yoke, uh -huh. and you can't do that there, so again, it's much harder as well to keep everything kind of tight and, yeah. you know, so. That was good, we got it done. Yeah. And now we're on to, oh. so we're on to the frame, we're in the frame carry and the sandbags and keg. So we've got the two Merifit sandbags, we've got the keg, and I think we're doing a 300 off the check, I think it's a 300 frame. Give me a high yeah, in the comments, baby. Keep going, come on. That wasn't fun. That wasn't nice. <laughs> oh, I don't know, I can't speak. It's disgusting. That keg killed me. 300 frame felt okay. Keg was hard, but it's always going to be going uphill. We did it longer than what you get a world as well. So uh, doing a frame four before it is next level. It's like Oriental chicken. But yeah, I'm happy. I'm still standing. Now we got easy stuff to do. I'm shredded too. Do you think you're more in shape this year than you were last year? Uh, yeah, I'm. Well, last year I was fit as well. It's just more. Um, like my mental kind of state in training, like usually I give up easy in training and I've not been doing that this year as you can see the log earlier on um, after the fourth rep I was ready just to give up but like my mind's kind of hit a new switch now with the loading as well I would have just been like oh stuff it, drop the keg so everything's 
there's not more fitness, it's about just my mental state now, you know. I believe I can do anything if my, I'm switched on up here, and that's what I'm doing. I feel fit, as fit, or maybe even fitter as I was last year, and now my strength is getting back quick as well. So, both myself and Luke are probably the fittest and best we've been in prep, and I can hardly talk now, so I'm gonna shut up. Love you. Right, guys, we promised you a world record, and here we have it. We've been doing our research. Keg weighs about 30 kilos. I think the world record height for that is about 10 meters. We've set it to 16 meters because we're not Jesse's. We're gonna smash it. 16 meters, new world record. Can we do it? Stay tuned to find out and see the new record of the world, the world record. That is the world best ever. <laughs> Right guys, so we're on to the fingers next. Me and Luke chopped off the peg that you could load the weights onto just because it's heavy enough. I think it was getting in the way, so this is going to be our press first proper week to feel what an actual finger look, <laughs> uh, feels like and how heavy and technique wise. So we're just going to do singles batting for get used to it this week and then we'll do some more reps next week, so stay tuned. How are they feeling so far, Tom? Um, surprisingly, sorry, surprisingly, they feel good. Since me and Luke kind of welded that thing off, we now get the proper feel of a hit, and yeah, good. I mean, you can see I'm more explosive, and I feel much more comfortable with this. So, yeah, long may it continue. <laughs> That's how you do a finger. Good. There we go. Come on. We've got Gladys bit there, trapped underneath the pallet where the finger's finger sits on. So, but yeah, there's some special gloves you can get with a little bit of tack on them. Um, probably get them, and just look at footwear as well. Just think the the concrete's just a little bit slippy. But uh, I think Tom says it felt so much better. You can actually get into it and really explode. Uh, so yeah, it was good. Quite happy with that. Job done. Now we're on to the stones, and I've got a secret weapon I can show you all. This has just been delivered to me by BTB Sleeves. They very kindly sent me up a pair. Alexei Novikov, the world's strongest man, uses these as well. The guys at BTB Sleeves were very. Um, accommodating, um, they kind of talked me through the measurements. I don't normally wear stone sleeves, but again, I thought because I've been talking about a lot, like me sweating a lot at the moment, um, best to be prepared for that kind of, um, I suppose it's inevitable that I'm going to be sweaty out in California, so um, I'd rather be prepared. So I'm going to try these on for size, see how they go. Um, I don't have any tape, unfortunately. That was stupid, but um, yeah, give it a go. See how I feel with them, and if they're good, which I'm sure they are, they look really good, then we might use them in Worlds. Tom and I used some sleeves in Worlds 2019 when we were in the stone off, just because it was very sweaty. So we'll see how things go, give it a bash, and we'll take it from there. That feels like I should have tape for them, but I'll do it next week. I mean business. Boom, boom. The 
feel good. Just annoying, I've forgotten my my tape. With sleeves, you just need to tape the sleeves to your skin. But they feel really good actually. The tack is like, staying on. Really quite happy with them. So yeah, once I get the tape next week, um, I'm going a little bit conservative. One I'm going to try 160 with them. Um, if I get 160, I'll be pretty happy. Our Friday event session done. How was it for you, big boy? Yeah, it was a good one, wasn't it? Yeah, it was good. Actually. Just tiring. The weights are getting heavier, and we're making everything hard. So it's it's pretty good that we've got a weekend off now just to chill because I'm dead from this week training. It's been heavy, so yeah, it's been a tough one, isn't it? It's been, uh, but it's been good. We got all our bits and pieces done. Um, thanks to Nathan and Dan as always for well keeping us going. Nathan for keeping us fueled, Dan for keeping it, the programme's good. Um, what are you up to this weekend, Big Tommy? Nothing, just uh, going to do some business in Glasgow. Oh, businessman, uh, is he? Chill out for the weekend, you yeah. know. So. And uh, my couscous is away this weekend, so I've got the bed to myself. Well, the dogs will be up with me, but I can starfish, but I won't be able to sleep because I miss you. Oh, isn't that cute? Anyway, guys, stay safe, smile and stay spicy. Don't forget to ring this little bell. Hey, Ding -ding. keep ringing that little bell. Ding -ling -ling -ling. <laughs>